markets. I want to bring in James Rooney. He's the CEO of Market Force, and he joins us now out of Seoul. James, uh, Steve Engel, our reporter in Beijing, was just telling us about how Kim Jong Un is about 27, 28 years old, kind of unproven right now. What can you tell us about him? Well, uh, I don't think I can tell you more about him than any other, uh, any other man in the street, really. He's an unknown quantity. But what I think I can tell you is that the military political bureaucracy that has uh, long uh, controlled and, and operated uh, North Korea is clearly still in place. And uh, Kim Jong-un uh, would only be a figurehead at this point in time. Uh, whether he's the, the satisfactory, the acceptable figurehead to the, the bureaucracy, that remains to be seen. But as he was personally nominated by his father and that was accepted by everybody else, we can assume that, that he is the, the, the new heir for at least a period of time until something happens to challenge that. On the other hand, I think uh, looking at the fact that we only received this news in the middle of the day today, two days after the event happened, it shows that the North Koreans took their time, took plenty of time, to make sure they were ready to reveal this news to the world. And I think that demonstrates that things are still well under control there and there's no real indication of instability. Uh, James, given the fact that the bureaucracy is in place and there is no indication, as you just put it, of instability, is the market reacting call it the right way? Or should the world be a little more concerned with the future in North Korea and what it may hold for China, what it may hold for the South? Well, when, when the news broke around lunchtime here, uh, the, the deepest drop of the market was about five percentage points down. It closed less than that. Uh, frankly, if this was a significant event, you'd have, you'd have expected something more like a 10-point drop at least. So the, the market is taking this pretty well in its stride. We need to remember that two years ago, this would not have been big news to us. We were all expecting after his, his first stroke for Kim Jong-il to pass away. But somehow over the last couple of years, we've, uh, we've seemed to think that nature has been suspended and that this wasn't about to happen. So it shouldn't really be a great surprise to us. And there's been plenty of time for North Korea to prepare. The linkages between the North Korean economy and the South Korean economy are minimal at best. The North Korean economy's contribution to the world economy is essentially zero. So I think uh, the market is, is reacting, but not overreacting. And frankly, the real effect on the market is not even the minus three percentage points that we're seeing. That'll pass away. There are much bigger factors in play, all the games going on in Europe, the weakness of the US economy and so on, that are clearly a much more, much more significant factor for both Korea's stock market and world stock markets than the passing of Kim Jong-il. James, thank you. James Rumini, co-president and CEO of Market Force, joining us from Seoul with on-the-ground reaction to the news that Kim Jong-il is dead.